Howdy, folks. I wanted to show you something that came up on our local Facebook group. And it's something that, well, I think it needs to be brought to the attention of, uh, of many. So anyway, I, I, when I went in yesterday, and I think it's been there for a little bit and I've just ignored it. Yesterday, I paid attention to it when I was uh, going into our group to uh, just check on things. And uh, I saw this right here. And it says, uh, as you see, and I'll flash it up on the screen so that you can see an enlarged, better view of it. But right here, it says, join the wait list for Meta AI in your group. Meta AI can save you time and spark conversations by answering questions posted in your group, linking people to the post they find most helpful and more. Sign up for the group to be the first to get access when it becomes available in your region. So this is something that clearly that uh, they are, are um, going to be bringing out. Now, when you click on the learn more, because I had somebody had asked, a, and it's a good question. Uh, when you turn that switch on, are you going to be able to turn that switch off? And I thought that was an excellent question. And uh, I clicked on the learn more to see if I could learn more. And indeed, I did. This is what it popped up when I clicked on the learn more. It says, join the waitlist for Meta AI in your group. And uh, you know, it says, a new way to get questions answered. Meta AI will comment on questions that haven't gotten an answer after, uh, after one hour. Uh, you can keep members engaged. It says Meta AI's answers will summarize earlier group discussions and share past posts from the group, helping to build community and spark discussion. Well, here's the million dollar answer here. Stay in control. You'll be able to delete any of Meta, Meta AI's comments, turn it off anytime, and customize it for your group. So that is... Uh, that's what's being offered to the administrators of these Facebook groups. And so I didn't want to just make a hasty decision on my own. Uh, as I've said it many times, it's not my group. Just because I started it, just because I administer it, doesn't mean that it's my group. That's kind of a narcissistic way to view things, I believe. It's the town's group. It's their group. I mean, if you if you look over at the uh, step on over here, the the group up here is uh, the Highland Illinois Discussion Group. It doesn't say the Mike Callahan Discussion Group. So I try to keep it realistic when it comes to that. So as I had said earlier, I wasn't going to just make hasty decisions on my own. Uh, I wanted the group's input, and this is why I love our town. So I put up there, I wrote, and again, I'll put it up on the screen for a moment. You can pause the video if you want to be able to read better the screens that I'm showing here. Uh, it says here, uh, this is coming up, or I said, this is coming up on my screen. I will put a screenshot in the comments. Instead of making a hasty decision based on my own prejudices, I wanted to bring it to the floor. It's your group. Uh, I will withhold my thoughts as not to influence anyone else's decision. Do you want the group to be assisted by AI? And then I posted what was the same thing over there in that article. And uh, I just, I just kind of want to point out now. <laughs> oh, by the way, my comment down there. I said, I said, uh, okay, so just brainstorming here. Mark Zuckerberg is having a 5,000 square foot bunker built in Hawaii. Is he going to unleash the AI on us and then go deep? <laughs> just having fun, right? So anyway, I just kind of wanted to show you how proud of my town here. We've got 81 votes, 81 votes in, and got 96% that says, oh, hell no. So got an awesome town, do I not? So I wanted to also show you something else real quick before I let you go. Uh, over here, you will see I have uh, I have to stay in the view if I walk out. I kind of <laughs> uh, you'll see a a chat right there, one of the group chats, and it is titled Highland Illinois Swap and Barter. Huh. 
more of that leading by example nonsense I talk about, right? So uh, again, I, I urge you folks, um, get engaged with your communities because quote unquote SHTF for most of us is not going to be a Mad Max scenario overnight. That's just a fact. And it's going to be a lot more time spent working with those around you in order to prevent the SHTF from getting incrementally worse. And, uh, and so that is going to leave a whole lot of that space that you learned how to Mad Max things. Uh, it's, I think it's going to turn people's mindset upside down. I think that unfortunately it's going to cause a lot of unnecessary, unnecessary undue harm with the quote unquote prepper mindset of uh, hiding in their hidey hole with their box of crackers. It's not realistic, folks. It's not. That's Hollywood TV movie bunk. Get engaged in your local communities. And you don't have to go out and say, oh, I've got this much food. Or I've got these supplies. You don't have to talk about any of that. Just encourage people to put back food and supplies. And you will find out the ones, right? You'll know the ones that are of like mind. And then you just kind of start talking to them. Uh, you can, in short order, build one hell of a group of people that not only is going to be good for yourself, but it's actually going to be putting back into the community and helping ensure the community, right? And, you know, I know there are some channels that would say, oh, we'll talk to your local sheriff and blah, blah. Don't. My advice, don't. Leave anything affiliated with a current government out. 100% out. Why? Because they couldn't pour piss out of a boot if the instructions were on the bottom. And many of the people that are involved in our governments, you know, even at the local level, are corrupt. Are corrupt. It's this guy, you know, patting the back of that guy or whatever, scratching his back. And that's the truth of it. And it's not going to be any different after things go haywire. In fact, it's just going to get that much worse. The corrupt are going to become extreme corrupt whenever it it all goes down. And they're going to try to seize all that power. They're going to so you have to go around that. Completely around that in order to facilitate a healthy environment for your community. You know, when you look at it realistically, you sure can't sell a whole bunch of bullshit. You sure the hell can't, you know, sell people on the notion that for some, for some reason they need to be keeping coming to you. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't get the YouTube prepper channel mindset. It makes no sense. It's, it's absolutely just as messed up as a Hollywood mindset. It, actually, it doesn't seem to be very far from different, to be honest. So, anyway, that proof is in the pudding. So, just wanted to share that. I don't know if uh, any of you administer groups or pages on Facebook, uh, but if you haven't gotten that, expect to get it eventually. Um, and then, like I say, you can check it out. I can do all kinds of cool stuff if I knew where. Oh, there it is. My menu over there. I can actually start deleting stuff. I can take it right off. Kind of cool, right? Yeah. Take that off. And, whoops, almost had it thrown away. And they're all thrown away. How is that? Pretty wild, huh? Anyway, I am out of here. I hope you all have a good day. Shalom.